Hi, let's talk about elements of functional programming. The first one is immutable state. As I said to you before, the most important thing is protecting the objects from modifications because mutable state is the evil of concurrent programming. Okay? Second is no side effects in functions. So a function cannot change uh, the values of the arguments or the external values. It may only uh, create a brand new object to return. Okay? Other than that, it cannot do anything else. In functional programming, there is no iteration, no for loop, no while loop, and no uh, counters. Okay, everything is done by recursion, and uh, you may you may hear tail recursion concept uh, if you read more about the functional programming. The other thing is function references and function composition. So you may refer to a function as if they are an object instance or any other object okay and you may construct bigger functions by composing them by chaining them the other thing is higher order functions that means functions may return other functions as return values as you know in object oriented programming you may only return a value as the result of a method but in functional programming you may return functions and this is called as partial evaluation and uh, it delays the evaluation of the data later on okay this is called as currying the other thing is lazy evaluation of collections that means uh, you you need to evaluate an item inside the collection only when you need it we will talk about it the other thing is no null value in functional programming there is no null concept because null is considered as a great problem in software programming and in modern approach in functional programming it is prohibited okay it's prevented right let's talk about how java 8 implements functional programming elements in fact java 8 is not an, a functional programming language but it's trying to implement the functional programming items but at heart it's again an object oriented programming okay let's see how they are implemented the first one is immutable state we have final keyword and collections class since java 6 uh, we have final keyword and collections class since java 6 final keyword prevents uh, modifying the value of an address of a reference so you cannot assign a final variable to another address value it is not a true immutability because even if you cannot change the address value of a reference you can change the attributes at this address value okay so it is not a correct immutability the other solution is collections if you invoke collections that are modifiable list let's say and pass an list instance into this method this list is protected from the modifications these modifications are limited only to size modifications so you cannot add an element into this list or you cannot delete an item from it but if you access an item inside this collection you are able to modify the value inside this item okay so this is again not a true immutability for a true immutability you need to use final keyword and this unmodifiable uh, collections together even in this case uh, it is not a true immutability that's why i'm saying java it pretends to be a functional programming language okay the other thing is declarative functional programming is declarative so you just say filter this collection or you just say uh, convert this collection to an array list but you don't tell the computer how to do that for this java 8 uses streams again there is no iteration in functional programming no for loops for this collections are transformed into streams and its methods streams uh, help us 
use recursion for iterating over all the items. The other thing is function references and function composition. You may refer to a function with functional interfaces. A functional interface reference may refer directly to a function and you have other interfaces to define functions. They are function, predicate, consumer, supplier. They are all different things but similar things. We will talk about them in the next videos. And we have lambda expressions. Uh, lambda expressions are some syntactic sugar to define this type of interfaces. We will talk about them again. The other thing is higher order functions that is returning functions as return values. There is no built-in solution inside Java 8 for this, but with some manual implementation, uh, you may supply higher order functions and currying. The other thing is lazy evaluation of collections. We again use streams for that in Java 8, uh, namely the take method for lazy evaluation. The other thing is no null value. We use optional class. Optional class simply uh, stores that data. I have some data inside or I don't have any data inside. Okay. The other thing is monads. This is a complex element of functional programming. To apply monads, we are using stream and optional. Uh, we don't talk about it uh, because uh, Java 8 is not a pure functional programming. Uh, the other thing is function chaining. We again use function interface to chain the functions. To summarize it, Java 8 brings functional programming into language, not in an academic uh, manner, but there is a goodwill. They are trying to transform the language into functional programming, but they are not applying all the rules of functional programming because Java is still an object-oriented programming, but it is trying to transform into a functional programming language. The important concepts coming with Java 8 is lambda expressions, streams, and functional interfaces. In the next video, we'll talk about functional interfaces. See you then.